So guys, in this video, we'll learn how to make animation in Enscape. So here's a Enscape toolbar, as you can see here. So we'll start the Enscape. So I'll click on start. So it will prepare, uh, prepare the geometry and we'll start. So it's on the second screen. So I'll show you. So as you can see, Enscape is starting right now. It's loading. So this is my current scene here. So it is a in progress project so it's a, basically it's a library but as you can see there's some table and some chairs here and lighting from three sides so very basic scene so i'll show in the sketchup so for to make a animation in enscape we need to have two keyframes so in enscape we also get this second toolbar so it's for enscape ca capturing so you can take screenshot and here we have start position and end position so we have to basically set two positions to create animations so right now we can just uh, create a linear kind of uh, animation in landscape and we are working on a complex uh, uh, capturing uh, for video for, for now we are just uh, the simple linear kind of uh, animation so first we'll first you have to uh, create a start point so we'll go to the landscape window so here is a window as you can see so i'll just move my view from here to here and on the light okay so i'll keep this as my first uh, keyframe so i'll go to my uh, sketchup tool so yeah and so i'll click on it as a i'll set this uh, i'll set this uh, set, uh, this current frame as a starting point so i'll click here to uh, to set a start point start position so again i'll go to Enscape and uh, say, reframe my shot to different position so something like this okay so it's feel good okay now i'll go to a sketchup again and i'll click on stop position set the stop position so i set the position here so now we can click on this here so it is a preview window so you can before rendering you can preview your video how it should look uh, so i'll set uh, we'll go to Enscape toolbar and I'll click on the preview video. So this is previewing. As you can see how the camera is going from that position to the second position. So like this you can create some complex uh, animation even by this uh, just two keyframes. So if you are happy with it, so you can just uh, click here. So it is a uh, uh, export video so if you click here it will uh, ask for the destination file and it will export it to the given settings so we have some kind of settings here so we'll go to the Enscape toolbar so as you can see here we have settings in the settings we are in the capture you can set the resolution so if you want uh, you can keep 720p 1080p 4k or you can if you want your custom resolution you can set your own resolution here if, uh, if you have some custom expert ratios so for now we'll go with the 1080p and then we can set the quality so this is a compression quality so you can set to uh, email if you want to if you want to send uh, this video to a client but i don't prefer you to do by email because it's be always better to do in blu-ray so you get the most out of your video and you can later compress if you want because it takes so much time to render and so we have email quality web quality like for youtube a blu-ray quality which is a nice uh, 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 very lessly compressed and if you want the maximum quality you can it. this does not uh, uh, define your quality of your video it's just define the quality of the bitrate of the video so if you want the highest quality you have to keep here like in the render quality you have to keep in ultras to get the best out of your video and here you it just define your compression quality as you can see it said compression quality and here we can set the duration of the videos and the fps uh, fps means the frame per second so we'll keep uh, 30 fps and it is linear smooth or handicap so you can interpolation you can uh, select like linear smooth and handicap and in the this is the panel also is none so in the duration you can keep the duration to whatever uh, from uh, 0.5 seconds to 40 seconds so what's the difference between 10 seconds to 40 seconds so if i keep this to 5 seconds and so 5 seconds i'll and move to the my uh, escape toolbar and and let's uh, preview the video so you can see it's, it's moving uh, from point A to point B in just 5 seconds so in this way you can show your uh, video at what 
length you want to show so if you want the video to be slow so you can just increase the duration time to like uh, like suppose 40 seconds if i do so it will move from point a to point b in 40 seconds it will take uh, 40 seconds of time to move from this point a to point b uh, it will take 40 seconds of time so in this way you can customize how you want your video to look so we'll just skip, i'll we'll like escape because we don't want to preview it right now and then we have like linear and smooth so if you click smooth as you can see we go to again back to 10 seconds so whatever and we'll preview the video so it will be just a bit smoother it will not like uh, they, they, they'll just smooth out the uh, what is called keyframe from point A to point B as you can see then mainly you'll find the difference uh, while it's dropping the video as you can see uh, I'll, if I reduce the side and if I again preview the video it start, started uh, slowly then again got the speed then again at the end point is getting slowly but if I kept it to linear and I, if I preview the video, if, as you can see, it started fast and it's ending fast. It's just like a straight motion. There is no uh, speed differentiation. So it may be your thing or attempt to your video. So if you add the handicap, so you'll go to Enscape preview. And if you have handicap in your interpolation, it will shake your video a little bit in a smooth way. So it look like a, uh, it will just give a kind of realistic view if you are going with that or if you don't like. So if you have this three kind of settings here linear smooth and handicap so in linear is just from from one point a to point b like straight forward and uh, if you can smooth it will go like smooth then fast then again in the end point smooth and if you go with handicap it will go like 10 10 10 10 10 10 so guys one more thing you can do to add a cinematic uh, look to your uh, videos is to add depth of field so as you can see here we have a depth of field in a uh, landscape setting so we we can set the amount here so uh, right now it is on zero so I'll show the Enscape uh, window. So the Enscape window, and slowly I'll increase the depth of field. Yeah, as you see, I'm increasing the depth of field, and as I'm increasing, uh, the book the picture is kind of fading. So it is on now 55 percent, and I click on autofocus, and you can uh, so here, so we have here autofocus kind of bar. So it is autofocus and auto. Auto focus or manual focus. So we have manual focus point here. So you can uh, manually set the focus point. So I'll show the Enscape toolbar window. So as you can see, I'm setting the focus using the focus point, and I'll set the focus on the book. Okay, and I'll decrease the depth of field. So I'll keep it to kind of naturally on 20%. So it look kind of natural, not too much so I'll decrease to the 16 percent not kind of look kind of natural so as you can see this is the amount for your depth of field and this is to set your focus uh, focus point okay so what any uh, if you're doing a video you have to add a uh, auto focus so it will just uh, uh, focus on the part it, it can it give a kind of uh, realistic look because in, re in reality nothing is in focus some of the something is kind of blur or have bokeh okay kind of thing so if I set uh, like yeah one more scene here like okay and i'll click this as a start point right now it is on autofocus and then i'll click this as a start point and then this book as a uh, uh, end point now i'll preview the video and as you can see the focus is shifting to the book here so it give like a cinematic look to your video okay so this this is how you create a um, animation video in Enscape and in future we, we may get some complex uh, uh, points uh, like uh, how to get a complex uh, video path in the front like right now we cannot uh, create a walkthrough video because we are just we just have point A to point B so it's hard to get but you can create a point A to point B multiple videos and you can edit them in a, a video editing software like Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas something like that so guys if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and if you want to know more about the uh, what you call SketchUp uh, and Scape tutorials let me know in this comment below uh, till later bye